Now let's go from 11-0 to 0-13. The Federal Hawking boys are still looking for their first win of the season, but the girls are on a four-game winning streak. We have Fed Hawk reporter Clark Wicks here, the biggest Cubs fan east of the Mississippi. He's going to tell us how the Lancers performed this week. Now the Lancers really are struggling to find some positives from this season, Eric. At 0-13, they're still the only winless team in the TVC. Now it may sound blunt, but this team is just too short. And you know what they say, you can't coach height. The Lancers have just three players on their varsity roster that are taller than six foot. For comparison, Athens has 12. This glaring height disadvantage translates into effortless points in the paint for opposing offenses. Paired with a seemingly incurable turnover bug, this has just been a rough season overall for the boys. Although they continue to lose, first year coach Josh Vernon assured me that despite the score of the game, his team continues to work as hard as ever. And honestly, Eric, that's all you can really ask for. While the boys may not be having the season they wanted, the girls are beginning to look like they can contend in the TVC. After starting their season with a one-point win over Athens, the Lancers lost six straight by an average of more than 22 points. Since then, they're 6-1, and one, good enough for fifth place in the Hawking. This week has been huge for the girls. They traveled this River Valley one by three. Went to Miller, got that one-point win. And then they topped off a six-game road trip with a 20-point win over Southern. Now, don't get too excited just yet, Eric. These, are, these wins are great and all, but the Lady Lancers have six days until their next game against second seed Eastern. And then they'll be hosting top seed Waterford right after. If this team wants to play dark horse and pull an upset in either of those games, they're going to need to keep up this momentum. And this, this week-long break won't make that easy. Regardless of how they fare in those next two games, these girls are just starting to get a taste of winning, and they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. Now, oddly enough, the boys also have most of the week off. They take on Waterford Friday night and then travel to South Galley on Saturday in search of that first win. Uh, that's going to be a fun match of two winless teams in their conference. Thank you for the great work, Clark. Now, it's fun being...